Have you ever wondered, why does my ear hurt? What is fluid behind the eardrum? What is an ear infection? Why eardrops? Why antibiotics by mouth? Why not eardrops? Basically, what is up with ear infections? Let's talk about ear anatomy. That part that sticks out that most of us consider the ear is called the pina. Then there's the tube going into our head. We call this the external auditory canal. There's the eardrum, which doctors like to call the tympanic membrane. On the inside, we have a tunnel going in that empties into the back of our throat and our sinuses. This is the eustachian tube. The eardrum seals off the tube so nothing can get in or out. And finally, we'll finish our picture off by drawing the three little bones that lead up to the cochlea, which is the hearing center, and we have the picture of an ear. Now we're ready to talk about ear infections. A lot of people don't know this, but there are different types of ear infections. The first ear infection we're going to talk about is called swimmer's ear. But I personally don't like the name swimmer's ear. That's because you don't have to go swimming to get it. Here's why. Bacteria like to grow in warm, moist places. So the external auditory canal is a perfect place for bacteria to start to grow. So really anyone can develop swimmer's ear. That's why fancy folk like to call it otitis externa. That's because it's in the external auditory canal. When I'm treating this type of ear infection, I typically go straight for the eardrops. That's because the eardrops can get right in there and directly interact with the bacteria. The next type of ear infection is not an infection at all. It is something that can cause pain from a blockage of the eustachian tube. After that, fluid can build up, which causes pain and pressure on the ear. This is called serous otitis media or otitis media with effusion. Media means middle ear and effusion means fluid. As a physician, I always inwardly cringe when I see serous otitis media. That's because when people come in with a painful ear, they're convinced that they have an ear infection and want antibiotics to cure them. But because bacteria is not causing the pain, antibiotics are useless. Unfortunately, other than avoiding smoke and allergens, there's no great short-term treatment for otitis media with effusion. And our final type of ear infection. It's what a lot of people consider a classical ear infection. It occurs when bacteria starts to grow in the fluid that built up in the middle ear. This causes pain and irritation of the eardrum. It is called acute otitis media. Because the infection is on the inside, antibiotic eardrops won't help. You need antibiotics by mouth to get to the infection. As a review, we first have otitis externa, which is an infection of the external auditory canal. Eardrops can be helpful for this. We have otitis media with effusion or serous otitis media. This is not a true infection. It's more pain because of buildup of fluid. The goal is to get rid of this clog in the eustachian tube. And finally, we have acute otitis media, which is a true infection of the effusion. And this, we need oral antibiotic. And there you have it. You are now officially an expert on ear infections and ear pain. I just hope you don't need to use your knowledge anytime soon. This is Dr. Jeff MD signing off. And remember, stay healthy. Help your friends and family stay healthy by sharing this video. For more Dr. Doodles, go to drdoodle.com or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.